wanna be around y'all Cause y'all be doing too much Doing too much Claiming to be real Alright man, we live At the Playground <laughs> Studio with a special guest What's up? So let's go ahead man, introduce yourself Let everybody know who you are Whoa. I go by Alec Marquez The Mobile Barber A.K.A. Mexican Mob Entertainment You know that's just me. Already, already. So, what made you come up with the name Mexican Mob Entertainment? Well, I mean, just cause the group that I used to listen to, and I still listen to to this day, is that Gorilla Mob from back in the day. So I was just like, why well, can't Mexicans be something like that? So that's what that's what it is. I'm finna. Try to bring something back that we miss, that feeling of the music, you know what I'm saying? So that's the whole goal right there. And, yeah. All right, all right. So, where are you originally from? I'm from Waco, Texas, born and raised. 1993 is when I came out, man. So, 2019, gotta come with a different type of a whole different type of music I'm trying to f not fit in with this type but try to make a change even though some people ain't feeling what this music is nowadays so they want to hear something that they feel so that's the whole goal too for that already already so how long you been doing music or rapping or you know how, how long you been in the music game I've been in the music game since 2015 is whenever I started really trying and I didn't really get too far back then but you know you go through so much you go through some things and then opens your mind up so I opened my mind up to where I want to do some different stuff so that's what's that's what's going on now shout out to my cousin who put me on game even though he don't want to Talk to me no more, it's all good, it's all love, man, still. <laughs> all right. Brother, in the introduction, I noticed you said something about mobile barber. So when did you start doing haircuts, and you know, what what, what gave you the idea of being the mobile barber? Man, I started cutting hair when I was 13, and I was just cutting out my house, you know what I'm saying, not even charging people at first, just doing it for free, just to see if I could figure it out. And then when I figured it out, I just started doing it. And then charging $5, went up to $8, and then now I just charge $10, but I started doing the mobile barber back in 2016, just cause everybody wants that barber to go to their house and they ain't finna pay no outrageous price. They wanna pay fair price, so I was gonna be that barber to be that fair price person. And some people didn't like the whenever I went up on the price, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna be. You know what I'm saying? Already, yeah, yeah. I already know. Gas ain't getting no cheaper, so nope. Already. Well, man, what were some of your influences coming up musically, or just influence? Period. Now I said I have to stick to music, but you know, what were some of your influences coming up? Man, my influences was watching my brothers go in and out of jail, you know what I'm saying? So, watching them doing what they do kind of opened my eyes to what I didn't want to do, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do life different, so that's what I did. I didn't want to pursue the same dream, even though my dream take a little more time, you know? I ain't getting fast money like that. I wish I could. So, yeah, my inspiration is that. And then the music wise was like all the old music. You know what I'm saying? I don't, there's some new music out there I like, but I don't just listen to it like that because my mind's so stuck in the past that I want to bring that feeling back and put the past music, even though it's going to be hard because don't nobody really, really like it. But I don't care. I'm still do what I want to because I'm me and they them. Who cares? <laughs> already, already. So. Name three rappers or three musicians that you would love to work with in your music career. Well, three rappers. Let me see. 
I like to work with Zero and of course like all the underrated rappers really. Like there's a few of them. So would you say Zero is your biggest influence or uh, who was your biggest influence uh, uh, kinda, rapping wise as far as I mean I know you say like the older cats but you know the older cats to, to different generations is different older cats than you. Yeah. Well, I mean it's more of like not just Zero, it's basically Zero and all the A, B, and everybody from there. And then you got Pimp C and UGK, you got A Ball, MJG, you got. Psh, who else? Um, SPM, you know, Hustle Town, whatever, all that. It's basically influenced by all that, so I'm gonna try to bring all them feelings from all that music back in some type of way even though it might not be exactly like it but it's gonna be something that you can feel already so what are you looking to gain as far as the music <clears throat> industry being a being a rapper being an artist what i'm looking to gain is not being exactly famous i just want to be somewhere where i ain't today you know what i'm saying like growing up not having the new game systems and all that, you know what I'm saying? Just basically getting what my mom could afford, even though she'll give me the old game system right, right after the new system came out. So it was like, I appreciate it. So you go through the struggle and it makes you stronger, so it makes you want to gain some different things. I don't want to be famous. I just want to get to where I can take care of my people the way they took care of me. And that's just, that's just real right there. Already, already. So, what do you got next coming out from Mexican Mob Entertainment? What's what's next on the agenda? What's what's the plan? What's what's in the in Man. the scope? Well, currently we're working on the self-entitled album called Mexican Mob. You know, I had previously released a mixtape, but it ain't I ain't sell it like that because I wasn't own I didn't own all the beats or nothing. So it was just playing around really. This one's gonna be something serious, and I hope everybody feel it. But even after that, we still got a video, and you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be plenty more after that, too. So, this is just the beginning right here. Mask and Mob coming out officially, you know, for everybody who think that I'm getting beats off of YouTube and doing this and doing that, or working with other people. Like, I only work with the kid, and the kid's gonna record me. We gonna do it, and everything else is on me. So that's what happens. Already. Well, we know that you ain't been in the game that long, but you have, you know, jumped off the porch. So for the rappers that are starting tomorrow or starting right now, somebody that's writing their first song right now, recording for their first time in the studio right now or tomorrow, or by the time they hear this or whatnot, what do you have as advice? For those, for those artists, those musicians, those whether it's not just rappers, just engineers, producers, anybody in, a, in, a, in the business, what advice could you give them with just a little bit of time that you've been in the game that you've learned? Well, put it like this. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to nobody. Don't sit there and take other people's advice because end of the day your advice is what matters and that's what's gonna carry you to the top if you want to listen to somebody else you might as well give them the torch and everything you might as well go off what they say if you don't if you ain't gonna listen to yourself you gotta go with what's in your gut what's in your heart if you don't do that you're basically wasting your time man so if you want to be a music musician or whatever you want to be man you gotta do what you want to be don't do what somebody else wants you to do because that ain't gonna get you nowhere So man, it's a, it's, you know, getting to the end of what, what we got going. Any shout outs that you like to shout out? Or before, before we do that, hold on, let's listen. What artists have you worked with so far? Well, man, only a few. I can count on my hand, man, because I ain't worked with too many. So the artists I did work with, 
you know, it's only been the kid, you know what I'm saying? And Neat came on one song too, so appreciate him. Hopefully T Tokens will get on this next song so I can say I work with them, but after that it's capital P, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my my homie right there. And uh basically that's it. And my nephew of course, but you know, I just wish he'd get in a little more stronger. He come in and do a little more, but I'm not finna force nobody to do nothing. They gotta do it on their own, man. So that's basically all the people I work with. And my cousin too, but she, Already, but before we before we end this, man, give give these shoutouts, man. Let, let everybody know where they can reach you at on your uh, social media. Already, well, y'all can reach me at Alec Marquez, the Mobile Barber, on Facebook, and y'all can type in Mexican Mob ENT on YouTube and Mexican Mob ENT on Instagram. And as far as Snapchat, you gotta get get at me on Facebook. I'm not gonna just put my snap on there because that's like your personal life right there. And uh, soon the Spotify and Apple Music that'll be available to everybody. You know All what right, I'm saying? So you got digital distribution coming on the way. Yes. You know you said you talk about this next little project you got going. You're going, you know, you you're buying beats now. Is it no no YouTube no. Free downloads, you, you doing it the right way. You kind of did that on your first one and yeah. got your feet wet and now you're taking it serious. That's, that's good. Yeah. So before we get out of here, man, just give me shout outs. Don't have to just be musically, just give me shout outs to whoever you want to shout out, man. Say, say your last little piece of what you want to say, man, and you know, we'll wrap this up. I already will. I'd like to shout out to the Playground Studio and to the kid first, first and foremost, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So. Yeah, now I want to shout out to De Niro for letting me come, you know what I'm saying, look at some beats and purchase them, you know what I'm saying, I'm still going to be working with them. Shout out to Capital P for being there, you know what I'm saying, holding it down, doing what we do, just basically just being a real dude and true to, same thing. And then shout out to all my family, my brothers, man, free all my brothers. Um, Love my mama, my sisters, you know what I'm saying? My pops, doing everything for all my family, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole goal right there. So shout out to everybody I love and everybody who's been down with me since day one. So if you support me, you know what I'm saying? Support me, and I appreciate it. But if you don't, that's cool too, because I'm still gonna do, I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing just because you wanna sit there and throw salt on what I'm doing, that's cool. Do what you want to do, and that's what people do. And that's just real. Mexican mob entertainment. Alrighty, well, man, appreciate you coming through the studio yeah. and doing doing a little interview series with me. And uh, we will be looking forward to doing more work, of course. And yeah. everybody, y'all be on the lookout for the new. You said self entitled album, Mexican mob and ENT, Mexican mob entertainment album coming soon. Mm -hmm. I know we probably already knocked out probably four or five tracks with that. Uh, so. That should be coming pretty soon. Yep. So with that being said, be on the lookout for that digital distribution. Be sure y'all go check out his YouTube, follow him on Facebook, and uh, the IG, the Instagram, the gram, whatever it's being called nowadays. And uh, like I said, man, appreciate you coming through. Everybody be on the lookout. Salute to you. Keep grinding. Don't give up. And y'all yep. already know what it is, man. Mexican Mob Entertainment in the building live at the Playground Studio. And that's what it is, man. Y'all be ready for that Time is Money video coming soon, man. All right. Plug, plug, plug. plug. Yup. <laughs> and we out. Yup. Yeah.